If you're already familiar with Vectorworks and you're looking for a simple yet powerful real-time renderer, Twinmotion might be the answer. Twinmotion is an immersive 3D architectural visualization tool that lets you produce high quality images, panoramas, videos, and 360 degree videos in no time at all. Here we're going to take a look at how you can take a high quality model built in Vectorworks over to Twinmotion. Once you have your model ready in Vectorworks, go to File, Export, and choose the Export Unreal Datasmith option. You will be given the option to adjust the quality of the model. A higher quality setting will improve the look of curved surfaces, but may also increase the file size. If you want a quick draft version, a lower setting may be preferable and could result in improved real-time rendering speeds. Once complete, you will have a folder that contains the assets as well as the Datasmith file itself. Now we're ready to open Twinmotion. Click Import and navigate to the exported Datasmith file. Make any changes to the import settings if you need to by expanding the options menu. And that's it. Your Vectorworks model is now ready to be worked on in Twinmotion. Twinmotion offers a range of furniture, lighting, people, foliage, rocks, and more to add to your project. You can add water, adjust reflections, and you can change the weather and time of day. Once you have built your scene, you can then adjust your camera, capture views, and even create videos. Let's take a look at adding some more elements to this model. To add objects to your project, expand the library panel. Here, locate the object you want, then simply drag and drop it into your scene. This is where you will find trees, objects, people, lighting, and even sounds such as ambient crowd noise, as well as access to the Quixel Megascans library for even more content, as long as you are signed in to your account. Adjusting the weather is done by clicking settings and going to weather, and time of day is found under location. To control reflective surfaces, you can go to Settings, Preferences, and adjust the Reflection Volume Resolution. You can add a Reflection Probe under Library, Tools, Reflection Probe. When adding a Reflection Probe to the scene, Twinmotion calculates a 360 degree image from the center point of the Reflection Probe and puts the entire 360 degree image into the reflection of objects affected by the ratio of the probe. Reflection Probe has the advantage that it doesn't influence the frame rate, no matter how many you put into the scene. However, since it is a fixed reflection, an animated path of characters or vehicles won't be animated in the reflection. Once you're all set, you can adjust the camera by going to Settings, Camera. Here, you can adjust options like the depth of field and field of view. Under Media on the left is where you'll find options to create images, panoramas, videos, and even phasing so you can show the progress of your development over time. If you need to make any changes to your original Vectorworks model, simply make those changes and then export to the Datasmith format again. Be sure to overwrite the original Datasmith file, then click the Re-Import button in Twinmotion, and the changes will be updated in your project. Twinmotion offers a huge variety of tools to give you ultimate control over the seasons, weather and location of your project. Adding an ocean is simple, as is using the standard water materials in the library. Increase background fog to change the atmosphere of your renders, and even select from or customise post-processing filters to make your images look exactly how you want them.